In this video you will get to know in detail about item and inventory master data in SAP Business One. Lead time field on the planning data tab of the item master data window. This is one of the most important fields to specify correctly because the accuracy and usefulness of the MRP run is governed by this data. The key steps in making sure an MRP run executes correctly are as follows. Enter the required and minimum inventory level for each item on the inventory data tab. Set the planning method to MRP for each item. If the planning method is not set to MRP, the item cannot be selected in the MRP wizard. Define the procurement method for the item, as make or buy. For buy items a purchase document is created, and for make items, a production order is created. Make sure, all items, that are parents of a production bill of material are set to make. If you choose make, an additional field is revealed for a component warehouse. Here you can choose, how MRP selects the relevant warehouse, for a component in the bill of materials. Enter the order intervals, and multiples for the item, as well as the minimum quantity. If you're using the advanced available, to promise feature, you can specify, checking rules for delivery dates determination. Specify the lead time it takes to purchase or make the item. Define the number of days outside of the lead time that you are willing to tolerate before the demand for the item is satisfied as tolerance days. You can also create sales forecasts as needed. Thanks for watching this video. Do write us for any queries.